My daughter, who used to attend cram school with enthusiasm, suddenly stopped wanting to go. She turned to me one day and said, Mom, please help me. It was the first time I had seen her so pale. Strangely, she seemed afraid of my mild-mannered husband. Later, when I observed the two of them closely, a shocking truth came to light. I am a nurse in my forties, living with my husband and our middle school daughter, Mia. Nursing has always been my calling, and I find it fulfilling. After getting married, I worked part-time, but as our daughter grew up and entered middle school, I started working as a full-time staff member, even doing night shifts. While it's challenging to find quality family time, we used to be a close-knit family. Well, maybe I should say used to be. Our once affectionate daughter has suddenly entered her rebellious teenage years. We clash frequently, and I often find myself frustrated by her defiance. However, I understand that adolescence is a tumultuous phase, so I try to be patient. On the other hand, my husband's calm demeanor makes him a reassuring presence for our daughter. She spends more time with him than with me. Observing their close relationship warms my heart, but it also leaves me feeling a bit lonely. My daughter, who seems to take after someone, has loved studying since elementary school. Ever since she entered middle school, she consistently ranks at the top of her class. She's aiming for a prestigious high school and attends a cram school several times a week. But it's not typical group instruction, she receives personalized tutoring akin to having a private tutor. Her assigned instructor at the cram school appears to be a woman, and my daughter finds her easy to talk to. Perhaps it's thanks to this cram school that my daughter maintains her top class grades. My husband usually picks her up from the cram school and they often stop by a casual restaurant on the way home. For me, it's a win-win situation, I don't have to cook dinner, and my daughter and husband get to dine out. Seeing my daughter enjoy going to the cram school put my mind at ease. However, at some point, she stopped wanting to go. Mia, today is your cram school day, right? You haven't seemed as excited lately. Is something wrong? Concerned about her sudden change, I knocked on her room door. Of course, during her rebellious phase, I didn't expect a response. Since there was no answer, I decided to enter. But as I reached for the doorknob, my daughter raised her voice. Don't come in. Caught in a dilemma, I wondered what to do when my husband stepped in. Why are you shouting so loudly? He asked. I explained. Today is her cram school day, but Mia won't come out of her room. She used to look forward to it, so I'm a bit worried. When I tried to enter her room, she resisted, and I didn't know what to do. I shared my concerns with my husband, and he directed his gaze toward our daughter's door. Let me talk to her. Mia, I'm coming in. With that, he knocked and entered her room. Although I had been rejected, I trusted that my husband would handle it, so I stepped away from the scene. Later, as I was doing household chores in the living room, my husband brought Mia along. We've talked. Mia is going to cram school. I'll take her there. He reassured me. It seems my daughter will continue attending the cram school with his assistance. Although her expression remains subdued, perhaps going to the cram school will lift her spirits. Great. Thanks for the pickup and drop off. I said, watching them leave. However, from that day on, my daughter would retreat to her room before cram school and my husband would coax her out each time. I tried to engage her in conversation, but she stubbornly refused to open up. Frustrated by her silence, I consulted my husband again. Apparently, her recent performance at the cram school had declined, and she was staying for extra study sessions. 
I was surprised to learn that she had stayed late during my night shifts. What? She's staying late at cram school? Why didn't you mention this at all? But her middle school grades seem fine. Why would this be happening? I asked my husband, genuinely puzzled. I hadn't heard anything about her struggling academically or having behavioral issues in middle school. It seems she's just having trouble with the exam questions. My husband replied. Curious. I turned to our daughter and asked the same question once more. She silently nodded. Normally, she'd protest if I persisted, but she seemed unusually compliant. If Mia says so, it must be true. But if exam prep is causing you stress, you don't need to push yourself. And the coincidence of these extra study sessions aligning with my night shifts, could it really be just chance? I wondered aloud. I suspected that my daughter might be intentionally staying late to defy me. She remained silent, but my husband chimed in. It's just a coincidence. The cram school teachers wouldn't know when a student's parent has a night shift. Right, Mia? He sought her agreement with a smile, and she nodded once more. Although it didn't entirely make sense to me, I decided to accept their explanation for now. One day, my husband, noticing our daughter's recent behavior, suggested taking her out for a change of pace. That's a good idea. It's nice to step away from studying and refresh. I'd like to join too. I agreed. It seemed like a chance for our family of three to spend time together after a while. However, my husband chuckled and said, You're not exactly popular with Mia, are you? We'll go alone. His words hurt, but I couldn't deny that it was true. Feeling that my presence might hinder our daughter's relaxation, I reluctantly decided to stay home. As my husband and daughter prepared to leave, he conveniently excused himself to the restroom. Alone in the living room with our daughter, I reached for the TV remote, intending to watch a recorded drama. Unexpectedly, my daughter approached me. Wondering what was wrong, I looked up, only to find her sweating profusely and trembling. Mom. Help me. She whispered. Somehow, she had resolved to seek my assistance. It was the first time I'd seen her so pale. Are you okay? Maybe you shouldn't go out today. Rest in your room. I suggested as I tried to lead her there. Just then, my husband emerged from the bathroom. Seeing us heading toward our daughter's room, he grumpily protested. What are you doing? We're leaving. Clearly, he was eager to go out with Mia. Frustrated by his insistence on taking our visibly unwell daughter, I raised my voice. What are you saying? She can't go out in this condition. She isn't feeling well. Well... It was a rare opportunity. I'll go alone then. With that, he sulked like a child and left on his own. I led my daughter to the bed and instructed her to lie down. As I was about to go to the living room to fetch a drink, my daughter called out to me in a very faint voice. I turned to face her, crouching down to meet her gaze. What's wrong? I asked. In response, my daughter slowly opened her mouth. You see, mom, dad is having an affair with my cram school teacher. Huh? I had assumed she wanted to discuss her studies, so I was taken aback and accidentally raised my voice. My daughter had just confided in me about my husband's infidelity. I felt shaken, but I encouraged her to continue sharing her story. Mia, can you tell me more? She nodded slowly and proceeded to reveal what had been happening. 
It turned out that my daughter was being forced to attend extra study sessions because my husband, during my night shifts, was having secret liaisons with the cram school teacher in a private room. At first, I was happy that it was a female teacher. My daughter explained. But then I found out about dad's affair, and I couldn't stand it. He threatened me, saying that if I didn't do as he said, he'd divorce mom. He even said I'd end up a high school dropout. Apparently, my husband had coerced her into keeping quiet about his infidelity. Consequently, my daughter suffered in silence, unable to share her pain with me. She had always admired her father, which made his cruel betrayal all the more heartbreaking. Tears streamed down her face, and I realized she must have cried alone many times before. Today, Dad said he'd take me out, but I think he just wanted to see the cram school teacher. My daughter added. I seethed with anger at my husband's scheming, using our daughter as a cover to cheat with the teacher. Mia. You've been through so much. I'm sorry I didn't notice sooner. I apologized to my daughter for putting her through this and resolved to prepare for a confrontation with my husband. A few days later, I waited for my husband's return in the living room. I'm home. What's wrong? Unaware of anything, he asked in a nonchalant voice. Can you sit down for a moment? Sensing my unusual demeanor, he complied and took a seat in front of me. I spread several photos in front of him. As he looked at them, his eyes widened. What is this? Can you explain what's going on? The photos I showed him captured the scene of him being intimate with the cram school teacher in a back alley. I had followed him to the location where he picked up our daughter and documented his affair. Could this be a case of mistaken identity? Maybe it's not me. At this point, he was still denying his involvement. But to me, there was no mistaking that it was his face in those photos. With a sigh, I presented more evidence. Do you not remember your actions? How about this? I had discreetly planted a listening device in his bag recording conversations between him and the teacher during their affair. He listened to their intimate exchanges and let out a pitiful cry. Then, realizing he couldn't escape, he shifted blame to our daughter. It was Mia, wasn't it? She's the one who tattled. I won't forgive her. He stood up abruptly, intending to find Mia. She's not here. We're here to talk, right? Mia isn't involved. I asserted. Anticipating this, I had already sent Mia to my parents' house. For you to use our daughter's school commute as cover for your affair. You've betrayed both Mia, who trusted you, and me. And to threaten Mia, who admired you, is despicable. No. The teacher made advances toward me. I'm not at fault. His refusal to acknowledge his wrongdoing frustrated me. Will you take responsibility for your actions? The fact remains that you cheated. You and the teacher will not only pay alimony for the affair, but also compensate for the emotional distress you caused Mia. As he listened, his face turned pale, yet he continued to deny everything. Wait! I told you she initiated it, right? Maybe paying alimony isn't necessary. Unable to tolerate his feeble excuses any longer, I coldly demanded. I'm not interested in your excuses. Can you sign this? Under my unwavering pressure, he reluctantly signed the divorce papers. His face, unfamiliar with defeat, trembled. Afterward, I successfully divorced my husband, ensuring he paid both alimony for the affair and compensation for the emotional distress caused to our daughter. 
Additionally, he paid up front for the remaining years of child support to ensure no further involvement. I reported the affair to the cram school where my daughter attended, and the teacher faced consequences, losing her job. As for my ex-husband, it was revealed that he had been neglecting work to engage in his affair, leading to his transfer to a distant location by the company. Ultimately, both he and the teacher ended up financially strained, and they parted ways without remarrying. On the other hand, my daughter and I now peacefully reside at my parents' house. Being back home has helped her recover both physically and emotionally, and she regained her vitality. Her entrance exams went smoothly, and she even secured admission to her top-choice competitive school. Thank you, Mom. My daughter said, and I couldn't help but tear up as I hugged her. To hear gratitude from my previously rebellious daughter touched my heart. Despite the challenges, I look forward to walking a joyful path in life alongside her. How did you find this story? If you enjoyed it, consider subscribing to our channel. Until next time.